Last time we fought him, he bitch slapped him so hard his mum felt it. Federic's Pokemon Fire Red Walkthrough, Part 14. Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. Right, last video I was rudely interrupted by the sailor. So finally, we're gonna battle him. Yeah, how dare you interrupt me, you sailor Leonard, Leonard. Who cares? All you've got is a shelter, and you've been waiting all this time to actually battle me. Alright, so what do you reckon? I'm just gonna. Nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna feck about with this. No. I mean, St. Jimmy could kill this shelter, but it might know something like Aurora Beam or Supersonic. <sighs> this is my punishment for keeping me waiting, isn't it? Stupid Sailor Leonard. 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 I, I don't know how you pronounce his name. I'm sure there's like several ways. Either way, I don't care. St. Jimmy grew to level 22, and that is all that matters. And Gruffle also got some experience. Right, good battle, mate. Good battle, mate. Good battle. Good battle. Screw you for interrupting me. Right, we've got another room to be doing. Let's have a gander inside here, shall we? Oh, straight in there. I like feisty. <laughs> I like feisty kids like you, sir. Choose your words better. Okay? <laughs> Just don't go around saying things like that. Alright, so, secret power on this horsey. Still not good enough to kill it. I mean, horsey's, what, uh, defenses are all right. But I should be able to kill it, considering it's five levels lower. But that's the problem with St. Jimmy at the moment. His moves are not the greatest. They're okay. I mean, secret power, it gets its stab bonus because St. Jimmy's a normal type. But it's still just not good enough. So we're going to go back to Gruffle and razor leaf all the things. Because, just, just because, <laughs> really. Uh, I'm so happy I got razor leaf rather than vine whip. It's got more PP and more power. What's not to love? Another horsey. Another horsey. Have I ever used horsey before? I'm trying to think. I think I may have done back in the day. I may have used Seedra. This is literally before it ever could become Kingdra. But, like in the newer generations, no, I don't think I've ever touched it. Which is a shame, really, because it's quite a, quite a good Pokemon, especially Kingdra, my god. Keep that Dragon-type gym from um, the second generation, right at the very end. Jeebus, that is a pain. Anywho, so there's an Aether there. I'm just going to switch up my team one sec. Do you know what? No, I'm not. Screw it. I know some of these uh, Sailor-type people sometimes have the chops, so I'm just going to be prepared. No idea what he said, I will not pay attention. Alright, Sailor Huey. Huey, Huey Lewis. Or maybe Huey from uh, Malcolm in the Middle, I don't know. Alright, Secret Power, can you kill it? Yes you can, well done St. Jimmy, good times. 405 XP, and a star you as well. Loving the water types, absolutely loving these water types. And it's always good to get St. Jimmy up some experience because... The next gym is electric type, and yeah, he, should, he might as well just stay in the PC because I will not be using him at all. That would be a silly, silly thing to do. And there we go. A critical hit right when I didn't need it. It's happened pretty much every video. It's as cliche as all. It really is. Okay, you're not bad. Really, really rubbish dialogue. Alrighty, once we got TM44 Rest. Nice move. Uh, not really good for just at the moment because basically puts you to sleep for two turns but it heals up everything. And let's fight you. Hello stranger. I can't tell if you're from the sea. I can't tell if you're from the seas or the mountains. Stop and chat. Uh, so that's, that's the only choice of where to live. Either on the seas or the mountains. There's no middle ground. <laughs> that's the only types of habitable places for humans. Any who's old secret power it is. Boomtastic. And down it goes. Level 23. Good, good. And what else has he got? He's got a shell there. Uh, Gruffle. I'm going to hold off on Marcel as much as possible because uh, he's the one who knows Dig and he's going to get just ugh, so many levels in uh, LT Surge's gym. Yep. Basically, that's what I called. Uh, the gym leader. Back in the day I was called it LT, LT Surge because I didn't know what LT meant. 
track your lieutenant search. Hmm, you learn something new every day. But every time I referred to it was LT Search. Because I thought that was his name, LT. Ah, rapid spin. Really good move competitively. Incredibly good move competitively. In game, freaking useless. I like five base power or some nonsense. Okay, so that is that done. And let's bring up hindsight. No, I don't want to teleport. I want to switch up. There we go. What have you got for me, bro? What have you got for me? Mitty, you're walking the plank if you lose. Whoa, you're a sailor, not a pirate. <laughs> okay, there's a vast difference. I knew some people had no chops in here. Doesn't really, I mean, sailors you consider to have like um, water type because they live on the sea. But also, they're known for being strong and tough. That's why they have fighting types. Ah. Alrighty, sailor Philip. Ah, beaten by a kid. A kid? A kid? I'm 26 year old. How oh, dare you. Alrighty, Ro. Let's head up up yonder. And I'm going to quickly head in here and heal up back in a sec. Well, that was the wrong room. Alrighty, with that out of the way, let's progress further, shall we? Let's finally head up on here. Okay, so rather than going in those rooms, we'll head over outside the boat. On to, oh, look at this view. It's wunderbar. Absolutely wonderful. And we got this guy. What's he doing? Oh, there. Are you seasick? Um, nope. Nope. Feeling fine. Absolutely dandy. Sailor Trevor. We got him a chop. Gotta love those sailors with those tough, strong Pokemon. And hindsight will eat its face. Gonna quickly move Sidebeam up top to make it easier. Just because it's getting too difficult to handle these Machops, I need I need to be more, what's the word, efficient to get them straight to my side beam. Because if, I, if I'm not quick enough, I might actually die. No, that's of course a lie. And Tentacruel is weak to Kadabra as well. <laughs> the world is weak to Kadabra. My god, this Pokemon is so overpowered. And done and dusted. Sailor Trevor, you did not stand a chance. You weren't careless, you just... You just don't have a cadaver. Sorry, bro. Alrighty, I think I find you, don't I? Hey, matey, let's do a little jig. No, let's have a find instead. Uh, you, you couldn't see, but I was actually dancing then. That's true. And you've also got a chop. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Sailor, for giving me this free experience. It is very much appreciated. And with that, hindsight gets to 23. Eventually, there we go. Perfect. And, ooh, Reflect. Uh, it can come in handy. It can come in handy a lot, actually, because um, hindsight one and only weakness is its incredibly terrible physical defense. I mean, it is dire, the physical defense on the, the uh, cadaver line. Uh, so having Reflect up is, uh, is always good. All right, so let's uh, give Griffle a chance on this, uh, this shoulder, shall we? Sheldon with a little red tongue. Oh, ain't it cute? I would like to use a Sheldon one day. I think that'd be quite cool. As I've stated before, the physical events on that line is just wow. Incredible. You're impressive. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I think that's all we can find. Can we find you? Ugh, I feel ill. Aww. Good for you. Alrighty, let's head on down and let's finish up some of these rooms. Uh, actually, let's bring up Gruffle for some of these fights, because I think there's more and more sailors. As I stated before, we shall not be using Marcel. Oh, he's on about the big fat Snorlax. Uh, that's a bit of a foreshadowing for, for you there. And we've got this guy, looks like a fisherman. Check out what I just fished up in your room. You fished all this up. You must have poked your rod outside the window and fished all this up. Alright, he's got three Pokemon. All I'm really going to be doing is using Razor Leaf on them all, so I'm going to skip ahead. And down it goes. Thank you for the experience, good sir. Really appreciate it. Fisherman, I think I said Dale. Uh, who cares? Have we got another fight? Ah, yes, this, this gentleman chap. Queen against others keeps me young and youthful. There we go, all those makeup channels, all those makeup products over there. No, it's not cosmetics or spending loads of money. It's Pokemon battles that keeps you young and fit and healthy. And I probably should have swapped because I didn't realise he had a Pikachu. 
And it's level 23, that's surprisingly high for, for a random battle at this point in the game. Alright. Ah, oh, I was going to say I'm going to get static from this tackle, but no. We're just going to get thunder waved instead. That's much better. And down Pikachu goes. Perfect Amundo, Gentleman Brooks. I feel young again. Ha ha ha. Huzzah, sir. Huzzah. Alright, a Stardust. This Stardust on a boat. That is fact. Alright, since uh, Griffith just got paralysed, I think I'm going to switch into St. Jimmy. Come on, St. Jimmy, you're just getting better by the day. You started off and you were god awful. Uh, Pokemon Cross Rivers, they do in fact. Small trees can be dropped by cuts. Chopped. They could be chopped by cuts. I really need to learn how to speak better. And um, we got fights in here? Oh yes. I don't believe I saw you at the party. Nope. I'm a sad, pathetic loner. I don't go to the parties. I play Pokemon instead. Last dawn. That last. And she's got a Rattata, of course. St. Jimmy the Rattata. Who's going to win? Of course it's St. Jimmy. Of course it is. And down that Rattata goes, and a Pika bloody chew. Alrighty, let's head on to Marcel. I know I said I weren't going to use him. But to be honest, it's just going to... It's the only Pokemon you can deal with it with Dig. So, consider this foreshadowing for Ravagem. Because this is all that's going to happen there. <laughs> Dig all... Oh, come on, you've got to be having a giraffe. Ah, oh, God dang it, Leroy! This is... Alright. Instead of wasting time with Dig and risking another one, I'm going to go for a brick break. Yes, in the face, you stupid electric overrated rat. Yeah, I didn't really need to use Dig at all. And of course you got Static. That's two of my Pokemon who are now paralysed. 50% of my Pokemon suffer from paralysis. Isn't that wonderful? What's the item? It's an X attack. An item that we will probably never use. Which, oh, I don't care what you said, I was about to read the dialogue and quite frankly, I couldn't give a damn. Gentleman La Lamar. Lama. I'm going to call him Gentleman Lama. Go with that one. And it's a Growlithe. God, I love Growlithe. Such a cute little doggy with its bushy tail and its awesomeness. Just want to... Oh god, I'm starting to sound like the leader of the Pokemon fan club. <laughs> Either way, at this stage in the game, Growlithe poses no threat whatsoever. But trust me. If you ever come across an Arcanine, fully evolved and powered up, uh, prepare to die. It's, uh, yeah. Anyway, a Ponyta. I believe this is the first Ponyta we've come across. Um, have I used Ponyta before? If I have, I've completely forgot, which is bad really, because it's such an awesome design. I'd love to use a Ponyta, I really would. Oh, I've not got a fight time. I might use one. I don't know. Ooh. What are my two slots going to be? Alrighty, with that Lamar goes down, and he salutes us. Thank you, sir. The respect is appreciated. Have we got any more fights? Let's have a look in these two rooms. Ah, that's a no. I know that for a certain. And the last room... I believe this is a no as well. Alrighty. Uh, so before I head on further, I'm going to go quickly heal up, so I'll be back in but a moment. Alrighty, with that done, uh, we've got one more trainer to fight, and it's... Oh, it's our rival, Roy. I mean, I'm not even going to read what he's saying. This guy is such an arrogant tool that I'm not going to give him the time of day. He's a moron. <sighs> Rival Leroy. Last time we fought him, we bitch slapped him so hard his mum felt it. And quite frankly, the exact same is going to happen now, if not worse. And how dare you have a Pidgeotto. And critical hit, that's what you get. That is what you get for copying me. Boom. Alright, eradicate. Why do you have eradicate? That's just that's just silly. Who in their right mind would use eradicate? I tell a lie. Eradicate's very good. Very good early game. Really good early game. So bloody powerful. Except to Marcel. With his brand new brick break, he actually dies. Eradicate does not faint, it dies. And Kadabra comes up. That's it. You to put your figure! Ah, you're telling me that 50% of your Pokemon are exactly the same as mine, you copying son of a gun. Although, although, technically you have the Abra first. So, yeah. I didn't get an Abra because you had one. Why on earth would I ever copy you? Because you're 
I've just destroyed each of his Pokemon in one hit. Every single one of them. And I'm going to do the same with this Charmeleon. Ella, Marcel. Oh, I mean, that means he's actually evolved it now. Because you had a charm the last time when you were meant to have this Charmeleon. Charmeleon. Learn to speak. Screws are super effective. Brick break all the way. Just brick break all the... Th oh, I was wrong. And you're going to be a noob. And you smoke screen. And just ruin everybody's day. Go for no brick break. There we go, Marcel. Don't give a damn about no accuracy. Charmeleon goes down. It will cause no problems until that thing is fully evolved, believe you me. Alrighty, that's it. We of course destroyed our rival and he is just gonna brush it off and act like he's won. And he's talking about cut. Which uh, which we're about to get, I do believe. Screw you, bloody Lou, I no one likes you. Alrighty, I feel hideous. So basically, the uh, the captain of this ship is seasick. Just let that sink in. So we help him by rubbing his back. There we go, no medicine, no nothing, just just a quick pat on the back. And he is perfectly fine. And as a thank you, he gives us the HM01 cuts. Which is wonderful, because we need that to do the next gym. So let's get off this silly little boat. And yeah, let's go do the next gym. Bye bye, SSN. Bye bye. It's a, it's a great place to be SSN, but we can never go back. It's gone for good. And uh, yeah, I think that's the end of the episode as well. So next episode, we're going to be taking on the next gym. And yeah, I'll see you then. Bye! Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.